Good morning. Excuse me. Uh, do you see what's going on behind Rowdy? I was sitting in bed, enjoying some coffee, and should have wondered why it was so quiet out here. Michael, you have very sexy ankles. You're not going to see us because we literally just got out of bed. So feet are it. Okay, he loves these fur pillows just a little too much. Gosh darn it. All right, that's not how I wanted to start my day. We're on like our third stop, I think. Hit the banks. Now we're hitting the post office to get holiday themed stamps. Our holiday card envelope showed up. Not the cards themselves yet. They're still getting printed. So I am going to stamp the envelope. So we're ready to go. Pretty, pretty post office. I'm not going to film on the post office. Hang on. Mission accomplished. How cute are these stamps? It's the snowy day. Who remembers that book? The snowy day. Who wrote that book? Is it Ezra? Peter? I'm going to Google it. I should know this. I was a reading specialist. I read his books to my students. It was written like in the six, late 60s. He also wrote, was it The Big Chair? Great classic children's book. Great, great. The Snowy Day. One of my all-time favorite books as a kid. Loved reading it to my kids. They didn't really get it because they don't know what snow is. They still really don't know what snow is. Anyway, Jake might learn this year what snow is, though. I don't know. Because, January, huh? yeah, so it does snow at Ole Miss, but it generally snows over winter break. But this year, Jake's going back for intercession. He'll be back, like, January 2nd, and that's oh, usually when it snows. So it's generally when it does snow, it snows when the kids usually aren't there. But um, maybe he'll get to see snow. It, I've heard it's, I've seen pictures of snow. Anyway, my point is... When you read children who grow up in the south, or southern latitudes, I should say, um, stories about winter time and snow, it's not the same effect. But I'm ready to mail out my holiday cards once they arrive. I ordered them during Black Friday. I got 40% off. It's kind of an awesome coupon or deal, whatever. So, off to Ulta. Aren't you excited? Are you talking about me? Yes. <laughs> I'm not going in to Alta, just so you know, I'm just being the chauffeur that <laughs> drops you off at the door. Say yes, Miss Daisy. <laughs> All right. All right, Aaron, number 367, poster board for the scholar in the house. Who is he studying? He what claimed, is this for? He claims to be an honor student. He is in the National Honor Society. Sir Francis Bacon? Is that, is that Sir the Sir Francis guy? Bacon. I think he's the guy that was either an inductive or deductive reasoning. I'm going to look that up. I took a philosophy class 50 years ago. I was like, I, had, I took one and I hated every... That was my least favorite class in college. Uh, I, I, didn't know it. I don't remember any of it. I detested know. philosophy. I don't know why. I would like to redo... I want to redo. I think I would enjoy it. All right, let's check out there. Okay. I'm back from many, many errands. Shane and Michael are in the dining room, back there, working, uh, discussing um, Shane's essay and presentation on Sir Francis Bacon, who we have now learned is the father of scientific, what is it? Oh, the scientific method and inductive reasoning. So Michael was spot on on that one. Thank you, Wikipedia. And I did stop by Ulta and take advantage of the $19 sale on by the time you see this, that sale will be over. Uh, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro, which I bought because I saw Lisa Eldridge do a video with it, and it's technically a matte foundation, but she used it and said it was still glowing. We shall see. If it's too matte for this time of year, I think it will come in handy in the summer when you can't be mad enough in this part of the world. And I came home to a giant box from Bobble Bar with basically, I don't know if it's all the buried bobbles for the 12 days of Christmas, but it appears that way, and one of and it's this. I can show you the ones that have already been revealed, and this is the hmm starts with an L, like Luminaria necklace or something like that, and it's it's like an already layered necklace. Isn't it pretty? Thank you, Bobble Bar. I have it set at its like highest setting, so it's the choker setting, and then 
this is attached and it doesn't move so it doesn't get tangled which I like and then it has this little gold bar it's very dainty and and delicate and sweet and I'm digging these buried baubles this one was 12 bucks not that I paid for it thank you bobble bar but anyway now I'm going to go edit yesterday's footage and a video I'm doing for I think my favorite card company I did a video with them like almost two years ago in 2016 early 2016 from love pop you remember those cards that you open up and they're like works of art they're like laser cut 3d cards anyway i did a video for them i have to edit that people are texting me it's exciting that's my day and um and that is my friend layla the doctor she says hi <laughs> she will say hi if she knew she was talking to you guys anyway she's having an event let me find out what her event is and uh, if you live in San Antonio, I will tell you when her Botox event is. Maybe it's time for some more. What do you guys think? No? Probably not. Let me get some work done. I'll be right back. Ooh, we have quite an adventure. I don't think Michael understands how badly. Rowdy. Rowdy? Don't you moan to me, young man. You are a disaster. Okay, this is like bad parenting, but still, I will share this with you. I thought Michael or Shane was watching Rowdy. Both of them thought I was watching Rowdy. Neither of us realized he was in the yard unattended. He dug a hole. I think he busted the irrigation line. I don't think Michael realizes we need to turn the irrigation line off. Michael's at Home Depot. You are locked in here because you are covered in mud. Yeah. What did you do, Rowdy? Let's see what he did. Okay, this leads me to believe that he busted the irrigation line. Because why is there water there? <sighs> it's so cute that Michael thinks all he needs to do is put some dirt in the hole and throw a, um, some sod and it's fixed. I love that he's so optimistic. <sighs> I'm going to have to have, call Michael and let him know that it's not quite that simple. We need to turn the irrigation line off first. The water to the irrigation line. I have to figure out how to wash the dog too. Why me? Why? It's supposed to be date night too. Very expensive dog, Rowdy. Of course, this is operator error. But why? But why? You've never dug holes in the yard before. Why? You are filthy. Where are we going to wash you? Someone's taking a shower with you and it ate me. I just did my hair this morning. Oh my god. I'm making Michael and Shane figure this one out. This is not my problem. Excuse me. Alright, we have good news and bad news. Our updates. The good news is... What is it? Oh, we managed to figure out how to turn off the water to the sprinkler system. That was no... Small feet, so that is done. Rowdy's having a nervous breakdown in the cage, so I'm gonna change my clothes, and Michael's in his bathing suit, and we are going to, um, together, wash the dog in the tub, because I have that handheld thing, and we are not vlogging it. Like, I'm just gonna tell you that right now. No. I don't even know what that was. The good news is Rowdy did not cause the leak. We got some intel from Shane. Apparently, the patch of ground where he dug was already muddy and wet, and when, Ra when Shane was out there playing with him, he noticed Rowdy kept going to that area to like explore. So Rowdy actually saved us probably hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, because he noticed the leak and kindly excavated the area for us, alerted us to the leak, and then we shut the water off before it ran for days costing us hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, in the water bill. So thanks, Rowdy, for saving us money. Yeah, so date night is saved. We're gonna go <laughs> wash the dog, wash his crate, and then go out and watch a movie. See you in a bit. Is that actually on your camera? Yeah. I think he's fine. Actually, it's nice to have the washcloth get in between his uh, toes, you know, his webbing. He does not like that. where the uh, dirt kind of piles up a little bit. You're fine, Rowdy. No, I just want to run.
on my hands. I think we got it all. It's not that dirty. I mean, no. well, anymore. thankfully, unlike a Wesley, this stuff just kind of falls right, right off. You did good. Ah! He's my He's going. He's going. Okay, the hard part is, I think we got you it. Get a drop. Yeah, you turn it off. Wait a minute. You got washed. Yeah. We washed your face with a color washcloth. Yes, something else. I'm soaked. Are you wet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, you are. Okay, let's see. How okay, do you I can carry them and pick them up. Maybe that's best. Your feet are gonna be so dirty. I don't want it on this nice. Well, we'll just it. wash it all. It's fine. Just put that on the ground. No, I want to wrap them in. You don't want them on that though. You're the one whose feet are dirty. Look at your feet now. Yeah. Put the towel on the ground. And, and then do the other towel. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We gotta wash everything. It's okay. You should save the tub. Okay. Okay, buddy. Ready? Don't don't hurt yourself. Can you do it? Yeah. Sweet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, no. Hang on, Rob. We gotta dry it off. Can you get up? I can get out. Yeah. I got him. I got him. For sure. Well, yeah. Fine. I'll go for it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Don't slide. Don't slide. No, I don't look better. Oh, you know what, Roddy? You don't smell so good. Wet dog is not. Wow, what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Dude. Okay, if you can take over the drying, I'm gonna. Yep. Wow. This you is... are a mud mess, man. No, he's clean now. If you can but... get his regular collar. Yeah, I'll clean that off. You know, that man can at least have a control, and I don't want to have him with this uh, choke chain the whole time. No, 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 no. Oh choke. my gosh. This is. This is the collar. I have to figure out how to clean that. Mm -hmm. And then this is, I put the towel on the bottom of the tub so he wouldn't slip and have a little more firm footing. Did he just toot? Rowdy just the tooted. Feet, All right, I'm gonna clean this up. Hmm, this is funny. It's date night, so I got a little, we're in the reclining chair thingies and I have my dinner in front of me. I'm just gonna recline and I'm gonna say goodnight here so i hope you guys had a nice day hanging out with us little little adventure if you will and uh tomorrow i will see you and uh my tarped up michael tarped up the hole so i'll show you <laughs> the continuing adventures of rowdy the digger and um i feel like this vlogmas is like documenting what he's destroying on a daily basis hopefully that will end now and um anyway i'll see you tomorrow have a wonderful evening bye